Now it's pretty straightforward, but the first thing that we've got to do is label each and every one of the equations as equation 1, 2, and 3. After you've done so, we're going to have to construct a fourth equation by identifying which one of the equations you think is the easiest to be converted to. And in this case, I use equation 1, in which I made S as a subject so that it can be substituted easier later. So the next step is to substitute equation 4 into any of the equations that haven't been touched yet. And I substituted 4 into equation 2, and this got me u as 19 plus 90 over 10. After that's done, label that as equation 5. Right, we're pretty much done here, except all we have to do now is substitute equation 4 and 5 into equation 3. Now, I did this one by one by substituting equation 4 first, followed by equation 5, to make things less messy and easier to solve. Then, in the end, we will have t left as negative 1. Last but not least, we're going to find the values of the other unknowns by substituting what we know as t into equation 5, and then calculate that, and then we'll find u equals to 1. After we find u, we substitute both u and t into equation 4, calculate that, and then in the end, we'll have the answer for the value of s, that is 2. From the question given, label each equation as equation 1, 2, and 3. From equation 2, we can get b equals to 4 minus 3q plus 3 over 2r and label it as equation 4. And then, substitute equation 4 into equation 1. And we will get q equals to 8 minus 4r over 3 and label it as equation 5. After that, Substitute equation 5 and equation 4 into equation 3, but to make it less complicated, I substitute equation 5 into equation 3 first, and followed by equation 4. And there you go. We will get r equals to 1. Next, substitute r equals to 1 into equation 5, and we will get q equals to 4 over 3. And lastly, substitute the value of r and q we got just now into equation 4. And we will get p equals to 3 over 2. Use a system of linear equation in three variables to solve the following problem. At the college production of a play, 490 tickets were sold. The ticket prices were $8, $10, and $12, and the total income from ticket sales was 4600 How many tickets of each type were sold if the combined number of $8 and $10 tickets sold was 6 times? The number of 12 tickets sold. First, we do equation number 4, which is single variable on the other side. We use the first equation to do the fourth equation, which is that a equal to 490 minus b minus c. Second, we substitute 4 equation into 1. We do the calculation and get the fifth equation 2b plus 4c equal to 680. Then, third, third step, we substitute the fourth equation into the three equation. Then we get the C value equal to 70. The fourth step, we substitute the C value into 5. And we do the calculation and we get B equal to 200. 
Lastly, we substitute C and B value into 1 to get the number of ticket and we get A equal to 220. So the conclusion is the ticket of each type is 220, 270. That's all for me. Shouldn't be drowning on your own And if you feel you're sinking I will jump right over into cold, cold water for you Sum of triangle X plus 1 plus Z equal to 180 for the equation 1. Equation 2, X equal to 30 plus Y plus Z. 3, X equal to 50 plus 3Z. So we line up all the equation so you can see here. And then we sub 2 into 3. So we got as follow. Y equal to Z minus 15. And then we sub 2 into 1. So we got equation 4 which is 2y plus 2z equal to 150 Subs 4 into 5 We got z equal to 30 Then z equal to 30 Subs into 5 and 3 so We got y equal to 45 And z equal to 105 So That's all Happy solving